Equipment from Kimo Clark's excavation company was all he had left after the devastating wildfires in Maui last year. I, I lost my shop and my house, but not one of my pieces of equipment or my trucks, not one. And his team used them to rescue victims. He took our water truck and he just worked throughout the night and he saved I don't know, probably a dozen people, maybe more. Over the past year, Clark's company has been helping homeowners prepare for reconstruction. They're ahead of schedule with the cleanup, but many don't have what it takes to rebuild. Everybody, including myself, we are way underinsured. We, most families I know or, or homeowners, they, they have about half the money to rebuild their house, just to what it was. Not anything extravagant, fancy, it's just to rebuild what they had where we have half the money. Maui was already facing a critical housing shortage with a need for more than 10,000 units before the fires destroyed nearly 2,200 homes. Some people did get help from FEMA and um, some people didn't qualify for FEMA and the people that don't qualify for FEMA are left to this. Steve Dolan and his wife thought they were lucky to have home insurance after they lost their home of 51 years but a clause in their coverage limits housing assistance to only two years. After two years, I'll be living on the beach right next to these guys because the rents are, are, are astronomical here. Five, six, seven thousand dollars a month, okay? That's why these people are living on the beach because they can't afford a simple condo or a simple one bedroom apartment. The mayor of Maui recently proposed banning short-term vacation rentals to create thousands of permanent leases and bring rent prices down. Not everyone's on board to give up lucrative revenue, but many locals like Marie Loquet are okay with it. Some people just lost everything. They had literally the clothes on their back. So many of the people who had vacation rentals, there were no tourists here. So many of us decided on our own that we would let people who had no home at all stay in our units, which financially was a pretty, was a pretty hard situation because we made uh, good money at vacation rentals. But you wanted to be part of the solution. You didn't want to be part of the problem. Opening up their homes to family and friends has become a norm on this island. And for some, it's camping out on the beach. It is Tian Shan CGTN Lahaina on the Hawaiian island of Maui.